Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the following animated spotlight effect in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. So the first step to this is actually to use a graphics program such as PaintShop Pro or Photoshop or GIMP. I'm using PaintShop Pro, um, but I'll actually include the file that I'm creating now as a download link under the video and on my website, thetechtrain.co.uk. So what I'm going to do is create a new blank document that's about 3,000 pixels across and 2,000 pixels up. So it is letterbox shaped or horizontal to match a screen but be slightly larger than that screen. Um, I'm going to create this as a transparent image and then click OK. Just zoom out a little bit. Now all I need to do is fill this area with black. And then I'm going to use my selection tool, and these tools are pretty much the same throughout all graphics programs, but as I say, if you're not comfortable with using one um, and you're, you can't follow along, I'm just doing this quite quickly now, then uh, by all means just download this, uh, this link uh, anyway. So I'm using the selection tool and making the circle shape, could do this in any shape of course, but I'm sticking with a circle. And I'm going to draw this circle out roughly in the middle. That wasn't anywhere near the middle. Um, I've also, also got um, feathering on here. So uh, in this case, about uh, 50 or so feathering. And I'm going to do that pretty much in the middle. About there will do. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm just going to simply cut that. So that gives me my spotlight. That's actually a little bit too big. Let's do that a little bit smaller and have a bit more feathering on there. There we go, that should be about right. So there's the spotlight image and we can make the, um, the visible area as big or as small as we like. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to save this as a PNG or a portable network graphic um, so that it is still transparent so that I can see through this gap in the middle. So once we've done that the next step will be to switch over to PowerPoint and I'm going to have a blank slide here and I'm going to insert an image that we can then use to um, view the spotlight effect. So let's just simply uh, open up that same image I used before. I'm going to zoom out slightly and I'm going to create that image so it's about the same size as the slide. There we are. So once you've got your image that you want to create the effect over, and of course that doesn't have to be a picture, it could be text as well on the screen, and you are running your spotlight across the text finishing on the key word or the title or whatever um, area you want to focus in on. So I'm going to insert now the picture that I created before, which is this spot. So I'm inserting that as a picture and you can see already how that allows us to sort of peek through at the image behind. Now I'm going to zoom out quite a long way and I'm going to create this overlay image larger than the one behind and you can see how the smaller the hole the smaller the aperture um, the less focus will have but also the less movement I can move this around from here to here but probably not much further because then we'll go over the edges of our initial picture but again that's just simply a case of changing the size of the aperture or hole um, I'm going to start this looking over at this character here, um, and then it's going to end up on uh, BB-8. So we start off with the spotlight effect on the position we want to start on, and then we need to add in our movement. Now there are various ways of doing this, but I'll show you the most flexible way. 
So we're going to go up to animations and then if we come right down to the bottom of animations we have this custom path option. So if I click on that uh, I can now click on the start point and then move around. I'm going to move around very slightly and I'm going to do too much but I'm just going to end up on BB-8. As soon as I've clicked, clicked, clicked I can press escape um, and there we are we can actually see the path, the movement. Now if I open up the animation pane here I can play that to see what that will look like and we can see that's, that's about right but we can edit it. So if it's not quite right and so we need to just tweak the end point, you see you have the green arrow here at the beginning, we can see where uh, this is tracking. If I right click anywhere on this frame I can edit points and then I can do a couple of things in fact. I can first of all click and drag this point so it finishes slightly more on BB-8 his uh, full head. There we are. So I'll move it a little bit further to the left still. And I'm going to move this one down slightly. Like that. So let's play from. There we are. That's about right. Um, but what you can also do is actually add curves to um, these points as well. So if you just grab the middle of one of these lines. Oops, I just clicked off that there. Let's... Uh, right click on there again and edit points there we are so if we click on a line we can bend it slightly so we get a, a curved effect now obviously at the moment that animation is quite quick I would like to slow that down so in the duration box here which is currently two seconds I'm going to change that to about eight seconds so if we play that now it's going to be a bit of a smoother effect panning down, up, and you can see the curve and the wobble a little bit as though it's a torch being held by somebody. But once we've finished moving it around, what we'll do then is fade this complete black image out. So I'm going to click on the black image and I'm going to click on Add Animation. And I'm simply going to choose Fade. That's an exit animation here. So I click on Fade. Again, I don't want this to be too fast, so I'm going to change the duration from half a second to 2.5 seconds. And I'm also going to change it. At the moment, we'll see both animations starting at the same point. So this fade out, we want that to happen after the spotlight effect. So I'll just simply change the start to after previous. So then you see the first one occurs and then the second one starts afterwards. So let's preview this slide now and see what happens. So if I preview the slide, you can see we're starting off in this position and as soon as I click the mouse or I press the right arrow, there goes our spotlight effect, moving around, ending on BB-8 and then fading out so that we can see the whole slide. So there we are, that's a, a quick and simple guide. Um, I know I rushed a little bit, I hope that uh, you're able to pick up on that. Um, if you have any questions or you have any suggestions, please do let me know, uh, just leave a comment below. I do my very best to respond to all comments and questions that people leave. I will leave some uh, download links to these black images. I'll have uh, two or three of them available in either the YouTube page or, as I say, my own site, which is thetechtrain.co.uk. Feel free to have a wander over there. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and it would be fantastic if you could just quickly click that subscribe button for me. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.